progress at Sanford Children's Therapies in Bismarck can seem slow. Day by day, session by session, the improvement can be hard to see. But on a longer timeline, say three years, the differences could look pretty stark. She had to relearn everything. I mean, she couldn't get dressed alone. She couldn't even walk on her own. So she has become a self-sufficient teenager now. Lila Newton of Moffat, North Dakota, first came to Sanford in 2020. A rare condition called hemolytic uremic syndrome caused kidney failure and a life-threatening stroke. She needed neurosurgery and will be placed in a medically induced coma. After being treated for months at multiple hospitals in three different states, Lila finally returned home. She would need extensive speech, occupational, and physical therapy at Sanford to try and rehab all of the strength and dexterity she had lost on her left side. When she came home, she was crawling on the floor because she couldn't walk safely. Three years ago, Lila was relearning how to stand and balance at therapy. She also had trouble holding on to basic items with her left hand. Now, though, Lila says she loves to crochet, draw, and write stories. And not surprisingly, this eighth grader is happy to be more independent. I can do almost everything by myself now. I can walk 100% by myself. I couldn't hold anything because I was just all tightened up my hand. But now I can pinch, I can grasp. I can even write in cursive with my left hand. As far as her walking goes, even her mother is in awe. My goodness, this girl, she can run a mile in, in school now. Occupational therapist Buffy Machenbacher says she has seen a lot of growth in Lila too. Three years ago, Lila was leaning a lot when she was reaching and her strength and her core has gotten so great to where we, we don't see that compensation as much. When we were working on strength, we were doing, you know, grass with two hands on a weighted bar. Now we're doing isolated left strength. So the range is there, it has improved. You know what, finger is still hard. That's really her biggest area, but we're starting to get more pinched and we're focusing on strength with pinching and trying to get that functional piece of, of a grip. Occupational and physical therapy continue, but with all of her improvement, Lila was able to drop speech therapy, something the family wasn't sure would happen. When she was done with speech therapy, that was we're like, are you sure? <laughs> are, are you sure she's ready? I don't know if we are. <laughs> but we know that means that she's getting better as well. Three years older and more mature, Lila now views her therapy as more of a routine than a chore. But the kid in her still needs to make it playful. On those tough days, I just try to do anything to make it more fun. Like, we'll play games a lot all the time, and sometimes, like, even today in PT, we put on music. What kind of music do you listen to? Taylor Swift. Always Taylor Swift? A lot of Taylor Swift. <laughs> She's awesome to work with because she, she brings humor into things. She jokes around because I have teenagers, so I say you're just like my teenagers at home. You know, she works hard and she's a fighter. Lila's parents are thankful that she has come so far with her recovery, and they say they are grateful to Sanford therapists like Machenbacher, who have been with Lila for so long. They just know her so well. They understand what motivates her. Nice and they're job. just like family now. It gives you hope that, well, three years from now, hopefully be, she will be a lot further ahead of the game. So we're, we're hopeful um, that that's what's in her future and, and she'll continue to work for that. Just a few short years ago, Lila Newton was fighting for her life. Now she's working toward a better, stronger future. There's no like being done with a dis disability. I think the end goal would be just to be as strong as they think she should be and that Lila can do everything that she wants to do without difficulty. In Bismarck, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.